In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a really great feel for that trail elbow move in your downswing that's definitely going to help you sequence your downswing better, generate some more speed and improve that club face control. Make sure you check this video out. Welcome back to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today at Branston Golf and Country Club. Today's video, as I mentioned, there is all about the trail elbow. We're going to be focusing on the downswing. And I have filmed videos on the trail elbow and the downswing before, but I want to give you an idea here, a feeling, something that you could take to the driving range or the practice area first before bleeding it out onto the golf course. And we're going to be, as I said, focusing on this trail elbow, which is my elbow that's furthest away from the target and we're focusing on this downswing movement. So we're forgetting how we've got to the backswing because we see some great players with the elbow here, some here, some here, depending on the flexibility in their shoulder plane, depending on their swing path on the way back. But we see a very similar move with the majority of elite golfers on the downswing. So we see, might see a variety of movements going back, but we tend to see the same movement coming down. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is wind up to the top, and I want you to get that feeling that the trail elbow stays lower than the lead arm as we start our downswing. So we're gonna feel like it stays lower here, which means it's staying bent downwards. It's staying pointing down and pointing pretty close or feeling like it's pretty close to my rib cage and hip. What we see with a lot of golfers at fault here is their trail elbow staying high. When their trail elbow stays high, my hands work inwards, the club moves out. So we get this out to in swing path, which a lot of golfers struggle with and will tend to fade, slice, or pull the golf ball from there. Now, we do not simply want to pull that arm behind us because I'm into a very trapped position. And when my elbow has gone behind me here, we'll tend to compensate, try and get out of the way and stand up out of posture. So we're getting the feeling that the trail elbow stays low, stays below my forearm, but stays in front of my hip. Now, I know that's two things we're focusing on there, but the trail elbow is staying lower than my lead arm and in front of my trail hip. And that gives me a great delivery position. It's also changed my lead wrist, which I really like to see here, this flat lead wrist. When I get players keeping that trail elbow high this way and their arms moving inwards, guess what? They tend to get a very cupped, lead wrist here where the club face gets very open. I would say one of the most destructive things in players downswings is an open face. Players with a very open face here, so the club face starting to point more upwards, are going to need a lot of timing to try and square that blade, that club face. And it's not they can't do it, but they really struggle to do it consistently. It relies a lot on timing, it relies a lot on repetition, hitting lots and lots and lots of golf shots. So the movement of this trail elbow is a real key. And I will put some ideas to a couple other videos I've filmed on the trail elbow just up here that have obviously got some real relevance to what we're talking about today. That one player might like focusing on this way, another might focus on this way. There's no right or wrong as long as we can get the correct movement here. So focusing on this trail elbow in the downswing can help the sequence of my downswing I mentioned because actually it feels like my back is facing the target. I'm almost delaying my upper body. So what we see then is the player starts to utilize and use their lower body better at the start of the downswing because they're not pulling and going with their upper body, their shoulders first. It improves the club face position because it gets my flat lead wrist here. So the club face position is actually squaring itself much simpler. There is less rate of closure or slower rate of closure so we're not having to manipulate through impact and the other thing it helps me do is really create this very powerful movement where i'm in a delivery position i can just unwind my body very powerfully here because my trail elbow is very connected if we get our arms moving out away from our body we tend to have to slow and stall our body to let our hands speed up so the feeling again let me plunk a ball on a tee peg and it's obviously a, a really to start with a slow motion exercise, something I would do at home. What we're going to do is set up to the golf ball. We're going to wind up to the top of the golf swing. 
we're going to get that feeling that the trail elbow stays lower than my lead arm rather than higher than here. When I feel it gets high, I feel like my trail shoulder goes out towards the golf ball. So some people may even get the feeling when they're focusing on the trail elbow that the trail uh, shoulder almost just stays in position or sits behind them a little bit longer, doesn't go out towards the golf ball. And that would be fine, as I said, different feels for different people. If you do these exercises, I think you're gonna get the sensation of what is right for you. So let's have a practice go at it, to the top. Trail elbows to stay behind, or lower, sorry, than trail arm. I'm in front of my hip here. And that's given me that great delivery position of flat lead wrist, good club face position. And my swing path is that very neutral into square to in. Let me see if I can just go ahead. With this one, I'm gonna do a nice slow pace, focusing on that trail arm. So I'm gonna hit the ball, but I'm gonna do it with no real pace. So really got that sensation of that trail arm movement on the downswing. Now, I don't want to be that aware of it and that focused on it, but on, to start with, do some without the golf ball, then do some at slow pace. Before we start putting into fuller movement, on this one, I'm going to hit one full. I'm going to feel that movement one more time before I go ahead and just hit one. I'm happy with that ball flight there. Got the sensation I knew what I was doing with my trail elbow. Of course, the golf swing's happening so, so quickly. We're really feeling that movement in practice swings, practice movements, first of all. So it may be a way you take it to the course of just very, very slowly, not rushing the whole practice swing, but feeling what that trail elbow is trying to do in your downswing. If that video has helped, make sure you hit the thumbs up. And do help me out by subscribing to my channel. Make sure you never miss a video again, at least two instructional videos a week. Cheers, guys. We'll see you soon.